It's Mark, I'm back, and I'm here today with some good friends from Nature Unplugged, Sonia and Sebastian. So welcome to our OA interviews. I don't, we don't really have a formal name for this, but we're just talking to people that we think are cool. So yeah. thanks for having us. We're excited to be yeah. here. So can you tell us about what is Nature Unplugged? So Nature Unplugged, uh, in essence, like we're all about just inspiring wellness in the digital age. So that means like, this is all from our you know, personal experience. Like we enjoy technology, we like Netflix. We're not like, we're not like living on a year in, you know, on a mountaintop. So it's like, how do we engage in these things with uh, like, and really still make space for nature and for human connection and not get kind of like sucked into the vortex. Assuming that balance that you're speaking about, like has, this is where maybe it connects with the mindfulness work that you do. Like how aware are you of how you're using your time or how you're giving your attention. And, and I'm wondering if you could um, give us a little definition of mindfulness and what that means for you. Yeah, mindfulness is really, uh, there's a ton of different definitions, but to us it's like, you know, being, essentially it's being in the present moment, being intentionally, you know, purposefully in the moment without judgment of this moment, right? So, and how that impacts our work is like, we really see mindfulness as, sort of foundational for what we do. And really when it comes to technology use and getting onto nature, it's like being aware of when we're, you know, getting sucked into like a Netflix vortex or social media vortex or whatever vortex is and, and being able to like make the choice to step out, step away, put the phone down and get outside. So it's really like, I think it's, it's about just raising our level of awareness to know, you know, when it's, been, when it's been too much screen time and when we need a little more nature action. Hmm. For a little history, uh, they interned with Outdoor Adventures. And so that was, I think, the beginning of our connection. And one of the programs that they worked on that was really popular was this digital detox. So that, that digital detox trip was really about creating intentional space for students to like say goodbye to their phones for a weekend. I mean, we did a full like ceremony around putting their phones in little sleeping bags for the weekend and i mean really it's not terribly different than a lot of the other trips but really being intentional about this is a time away from technology time to connect with each other with ourselves with the with the natural surroundings and something that all of us sort of want but it's really hard to do on our own so when you create a trip out of it with a really explicit intention of unplugging then it gives like a wider permission and expectation that you're going to be totally disconnected. And a lot of great human connection happens, not just connection to nature and the environment, but to each other as well. So I think, you know, it's a, there's a little bit of anxiety before the trip of letting go and putting the phones away. But at the end, every time people are so psyched and feel so connected to each other. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hearing you say that, I think about when, you know, we're backpacking, when we're on the trail, when we're out there just in nature, it's like we almost the experience is really lending us to be mindful in that moment because you are hyper aware or you're more aware of your surroundings you're more aware of how your body's feeling you're more aware of the weight you're carrying on your back you're aware you know you're aware of the food that you're eating mark can i can i just add in that i think that that that's like the essence of of you know i think what we're talking about is that the the tech world and the attention economy like all the forces that pull us into it are kind of it's like the opposite of mindfulness. It's like full of distraction and full of like likes and, and notifications and dings to suck us in. Whereas like nature, the way nature operates, it like is, it's the perfect thing to counter technology, but it's the perfect thing to like increase our mindfulness. You know, the sounds of birds or like this, mm -hmm. all our senses are much more engaged. So like, just as you described it, I think that's why nature is such an important piece for us. And it's like the perfect antidote to screen time. Mm 